Hey there, everyone, this is Alcow, and this is it. There's always an extra day, it's inevitable. I mean, I think it's fine, right? Like, so whenever I do the 26th ambush, like, it's mostly things given to me on the 25th. And I think that absolutely counts, but just so that we're sure, and I don't like saying this because I feel like it's super weird and rude. However, I think it is important to say it uh, for the sake of clarity. If I receive anything today, there's not going to be a video about it. It will be, and I do not have the ability to quickly say, hey, thank you. It will be appreciated in quiet solitude. So you are warned, but here we are. You can see here, there's a number of it to go through. And uh, most of it is by money. Because <laughs> their uh, gift kept popping on my screen yesterday during the day. Anyway, so here we go. Starting with the arts, though. And one more. Why not? Wink. River City Girl Zero. Join Kunio, Riki, Mizako, and Kyoko for bone crushing 16 bit co op beat em up action. Newly translated and released outside of Japan after 28 years. Oh, really? With new motion comic cutscenes, a new animated intro, and news. Yes, yeah, so while I was reacting there, I kept reading the, the blurb in my mind as I was talking. So that's why I just kind of kept, I picked up a little bit later. Yeah, so that was D Arch's thing, this thing. A whole lot of beat em ups. We might be brawling. I don't know. Uh, so. Yeah, because of the way Steam does things, I'm not sometime getting the message in the right order. Because this implies this should not be the first money post. Also, it does says 26 December there. Just kidding, this game came to mind at 6 in the morning. Frog game! That if Carol Blaster, I've heard about it. Online, all over the place. Don't interpret fraud, fixed situation. In, especially in Celeste, you got like the little, like in, in the hotel level, you got these like little like squiggly, pixely death objects and apparently that remind people of something in carol blaster here's sewer rave okay i'm literally running out again you know what i'm done with that let's start from the bottom here we go mr the cow better get your get out of 100 percent in crash 4 pass ready that's right you're the one that gave me that at some point where if i ever play crash 4 i don't have to 100 percent it apparently the game is like legitimately really good but Fully completing it is an absolute nightmare. Well, is Crash 4. I own it now. I can't do anything about that. I don't know what that... I ain't... So, okay. Tress Bashers. This game has a really neat vibe. It's in your bucket, and I recommend it. So you own it now. I remember adding this name to my bucket, but I forgot what the game is. Well, let's see. It is a 2D monster bashing adventure featuring a big interconnected half full of cryptids, secrets, and more. Four different monster type. Whack them with your bat. That does not tell me a whole lot, but okay. I do not remember anything about this. It's kind of wild, but I remember adding it. I remember seeing it in my bucket. Adeline, a neat game with an arcade style. It's like Pac-Man and Donkey Kong had a baby. And it was a 2D platformer made in the style of arcade games from the early 80s. Collect the coins, got a bonus foods. Turn table with blinding ruby. Is it think you got what it takes to go for the high score? I have no idea. <laughs> I also kind of remembered a trailer for this. Later, alligator. Extremely charming game from the couple behind... I don't know what Bam and Pitterman is. Bam and Piterman? It's like Batman and Spider-Man, but missing key letters. Okay, well, here's later alligator. It's Pat the Alligator, a mostly harmless and probably innocent reptile. It's at the center of a conspiracy that could bring down the biggest, scarce family in Alligator, New York City, his own. Explore the city, meet a family with a capital F, and try to save Pat before the clock runs out. So you got Pat is there with his hat. It has a hat with a P on it because his name is Pat. You got all the alligators like this baby. And, like, they all look kind of mean because their eyes don't have any irises. Unlike his, were nice and big and round. Like a soft cartoon. Pikuniku, I, th I, I kind of remember what this is. This is the collection of really odd games. Another ultra-charming game. You'd vibe with it so hard. Buckle up, money. Pikuniku. It's like Picnic. But, you know, in Kana. 
Pikuniku is an absurdly wonderful puzzle exploration game that takes place in a strange but playful world where not everything is as happy as it seems. Help peculiar characters overcome struggles, uncover a deep state conspiracy, and start a fun little revolution in this delightful dystopian... So that's why the other day there was a comma followed by an ellipsis, because these don't necessarily end. As in, that's not where they're necessarily meant to end. You just could they kind of run out of space for the give zone. I don't already own that. Huh. Metal Gear Rising is absolutely a game I do absolutely want to play. I don't think it's in my bucket, though, but I do genuinely want to play it. I don't know if I'd be good. It would probably be a huge mistake. None of those statements matter to me. Rules of Nature! Developed by Koja uh, Ko Kojima Productions and Platinum Games, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance takes the renowned Metal Gear franchise into exciting new territory with an all-new action experience. Yeah, whoever played Metal Gear Sonic 2, Solid 2, rather, I bet everyone could predict that this is what was going to happen to Raiden. It was written in the star. I don't know what's going on in this game, but that thumbnail. Okay, it's not a thumb box art. Super fluid 3D platformer with hardcore Tory vibes. Well, like you just know how to sell things to me. Super Sammy role. Sammy's on a mission to rescue his friend Vera, and he needs your help. Join him in his exhilarating, colorful 3D platformer and fast roll, air, grapple, and jump. Is it a frog? Is it like a dinosaur? It's like a horse? Like, I'm getting frog vibe because of this part, but this part is more horse-like, so it's a little confusing. I absolutely heard of Neon White this year. Multiple people whose opinion I hold in high regards have this in their Game of the Year list. I have a feeling you'd like it. I don't know. Maybe I would. I also heard the writing is... Is... That's what I heard, again, going strictly off of the echoes of the universe that occasionally reach me. The Anwai is a single player speedrunning where you can sacrifice your gun for kind of like part. What? <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice my gun. Uh, you know what? Yeah, say it like that. It sounds really silly. Yay, it's a Stanley Parable, but it's like the remake that's better more, right? This is a story of a man named Alcow. Alcar worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at. Yeah, that's me. You can always count on me to sat at. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is an expanded reimagining of 2013 to Stanley Parable. You will play as Stanley and you will not play as Stanley. Make a choice and you will become powerless. You're not here to win. Stanley Parable is a game that plays you. I've heard a lot about the original, naturally. Like, is it safe to just skip the original and play Ultra Deluxe then? Like, is that a thing that would be considered non nonsensical to do? I that was in a royal pig that I almost picked. Destroy the world and everything inside. It's carry on, carrion, not carry on. It's carrion, like you know, like a dead thing that you go and eat because you are a vulture and that's how your life cycle works carry on is a reverse horror game which you assume the role of an amorphous creature of unknown origins stalking and consuming those that imprison so it's like ape out but carry on yeah i almost pegged that uh back in the early days of the royal system well now i own it so another reason to grab it i already have it can you grab something you already have? Absolutely. You can do that all the time. Oh, cow. I've heard extremely good things about this game. It seems like a horror game you could genuinely get engrossed in. Signalist, I don't know if I've ever heard about. That is a costume design. A classic survival horror experience in a dystopian future where humanity has uncovered a dark secret. Unravel a cosmic mystery, escape terrifying creatures and scavenge an off-world government facility as Elster, technician replica, searching for her lost dreams. Bit of a dream sub-theme in a lot of games this year, I feel like. I don't think I know about this game. Signalis. Yeah. I don't... Do I seriously not own Goose Game? Galco Honk. Yeah, Untitled Goose Game, so a lovely morning in a village and you are a terrible goo. Perfect description. I know what this game is about, but I have never played it myself. I'm genuinely shocked that I don't already own this. Now I do, though. Money is just making it impossible for future ambushes to happen. 
I appreciate your valiant effort. Oh, cow, video games. Buckle up, money. Inside, it's like a, from the same team that made Limbo, which is a game I still want to play, but never wins any votes. Hunted and alone, a boy finds himself drawn into the center of a dark project. Inside is a dark, narrative-driven platformer. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> it's like he's drawn over to this dark, like, insidious thing where there's a video game happening. Kind of, kind of undid the vibe it was going for there in this sharp blurb. Whoa, what's going on here? That was DLC. Since we got Demon Turf, here's the side cool. Okay. Neon Splash. Maintain a constant momentum of precision platforming through surreal worlds filled with bright neon colors. Enjoy the intoxicating combination of 2D and 3D art. Explore and hunt collectible knuckle. So, side cool. So, not a sequel, but like a side thing. Neon Splash. It's like a more like abstract less story more video game sort of like side thing like expansion pack that's the vibe i'm getting from the blurb do i not own super hot man i'm discovering all these games that i thought i own already and apparently i don't yeah super hot super hot that's a reference to the video game called super hot super hot smash it this where time moves only when you move, no regenerating health bars, no convenient place to ammo drop. It's you alone, outnumbered, oh, now gun. Sent weapons from fallen enemies, shoot, slice and notch, shoot, a truly somatic hurricane of slow motion bullet. Yeah, um, I've seen Super Hot in motion, and it does look absolutely fantastic and surreal. If you've somehow never heard of Super Hot, look it up. Like, just look up on YouTube Super Hot. You'll find some footage, I'm sure. It is really hard to describe, but like it is super neat, super cool. Apparently it's a really short game. I heard about this too. I know this is in a bucket. A game about naming your shovel knight file. A sequel, but you have the original. Oh, okay. So yeah, a milk outside of a bag of milk outside of a bag of milk. But there's also another one that I already have. That is confusing. Sequel to Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. But it's the same name. Oh, it's inside. Now it's outside. Oh, wow. Okay. Sure. Oh, because my Shovel Knight file is typically called Milk. I am very fast at grasping things i'm the best well cow okay i'm literally running out of games i can think to give plus team's starting to think i'm a bot yeah so in in spot zone yesterday money was complaining how steam was keeping her from giving me things because she was buying too many that's really funny i mean i think it's really funny i look man i i I try not to think about the monetary aspect of all this. I feel like I've sort of abstractized all of this as game just coming from trees that people pluck them out and then push them inside Steam so they can give it to me. Because if I start to think too much about the cost of various thing that was given to me like that, I, I think I'm going to like freak out. So I'm not. Uh, thanks so much for everyone. Well, thank you so much for just bringing all of this right in front of my face sewer rave i have never heard of this exactly what it says on the tin sewer rave is a game about exploring a rat infested rave in the sewer there are creatures to talk items to collect flights to get and oh no fight to get into and jams to listen to 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 explore discover secrets and rhythm <laughs> that's your last verb huh that sounds fantastic rive i think it's how you actually pronounce it Man, that is a lot. One shot of dark and everything else. Pure sheer money. Thank you once again, everyone who got themselves involved. Even if you just watched and commented and said something silly. Like, awesome. Fantastic. This is how we will remember the end of 2022. How's 2023 gonna go? I don't know. I'm not a wizard. Don't ask me. Why, why would I know? <laughs>